What up donkeys, Jack Hayes here with jackhayes.com and we are here to try using the Fibonacci sequence in Baccarat. If you're not familiar with the Fibonacci sequence, it's a mathematical sequence with the numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, and so on. And the pattern of the sequence is that you take the last two numbers, add them together, and that gives you the next number in the sequence. We did this a while back betting the Fibonacci sequence in roulette, except we were betting on the two to one bet, the dozens bet. Here we're going to be betting the even money bet, which is the player's bet in Baccarat. You could bet on the baker bet in Baccarat, but you are going to get penalized 5% when you win because of the commission. But instead, since the player bet has no commission, we're gonna bet that instead. You're taking a slight penalty of betting the player side instead of the banker side. The banker bet has a 1.06% house edge, and the player bet has a 1.23% house edge. We have a starting balance of $7.803 million, and we're gonna be using $10,000 units. That's the lowest this app lets me bet. We're gonna start off with a $10,000 bet. Banker wins. Banker wins. So we continue with another $10,000 bet. This is the second step of One our progression. One card to player. Player wins. Player nine wins. So we win our $10,000 back and we start at step one of this progression. FYI, if you're betting $10,000 a hand in Baccarat on the player bet, you're gonna have an expected loss of Banker $123 wins. per hand. We lose with the player three. So we go to step two with our progression, which is still 10,000. Player wins. So we win with a player nine and we reset to step one. When should you walk with the system? It's really up to you, but you can choose anywhere between 10 and 100 units. Push. Eight versus eight is a tie. So we stay at this step, which is step one, and we remain at 10,000. You can start with any starting bet. So if you want to play at a $10 table, you can find a $10 Baccarat table. A $25 starting bet, a $50 starting bet, a $100 starting bet, it's all up to you. You would just adjust the progression by multiplying One your starting bet by the Fibonacci Player sequence. Wins. Player nine, we win. And we stay at step one. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. Another player nine win. So what's good about this system is that you're gonna walk away from the table a winner a large percentage of the time. What's bad about this system is when you do go broke, you're gonna to lose a lot wins. of money. Player zero, that's a loss. We go to step two, which is still 10,000. And since we have a starting bet wins. of 10,000, our betting progression is gonna go 10,000, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 80,000, 130,000, 210,000, and 340,000 and so on. We lose at step two, so we go to step three and we bet 20,000. If you enjoy talking about any kind of gambling, any kind of casino gambling, you can join my Discord. There's a link Player in the wins. description. So we win with an eight and we've recovered our two losses with this one bet. Player wins. Player eight, we win with a natural and we remain at step one. Banker wins. Banker wins with the natural nine. We continue to step two, which is still 10,000. Player wins. Player wins with the natural eight, and we stay at step one, or we go to step one. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. We win with the three, lucky. And we remain at step one. One card to player. Banker wins. We lose with the three, so we go to step two, which is still 10,000. One card to player. Push. Seven, seven tie, so we stay at this tier, which is tier two, which is 10,000. Banker wins. We lose to the banker natural eight, so we continue to step three, which is 20,000. Player wins. We win with a natural nine, we win 20,000, and we reset to step one. We are currently up 40,000 or four units. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. We lose zero to four, we lose 10,000, and we go to step two, which is still 10,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. We lose one to five, and we go to step three, which is 20,000. But we have to shuffle. 
place your bet. One card to player. Banker wins. So we lose at step three. We go to step four, which is 30,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. We win 74. We recover 30 of the 40,000 that we're down. So we're still down one unit from when we started this progression. But we're going to go over to step one, which is 10,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Push. And that's a one-on-one -on -one tie, so we stay at this tier one. And if you're into roulette, you can go to jackace.com where I have a catalog of over 350 roulette systems with spin-by-spin -spin results. And you can sort that list by buy-in, by average bet size, by my rating. And I also have a tool for roulette called the Roulette Bet Analyzer where you can enter your roulette bets. It'll show you how much you're going to win for every result. What your expected loss per spin is, what your expected comp value per spin is, and what percentage of the wheel you have covered. One card to player. Banker wins. We lose four to six. So we go to step two, which is still 10,000. Remember, it goes one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. Player wins. We win with a natural nine versus three. That was at step two, and we're going to stay at 10,000 on one step one. One card to banker. Player wins. That's a win. We just rebet at this step one. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. That's another 10,000 win. We stay here. We're currently up 50,000 or five units. One card to banker. Player wins. Six to three win. We are up six units. One card to player. Banker wins. We lose two against six. Go to step two, which is still 10,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. Lose zero to five. That was at step two. We go to step three, which is 20,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. So we recovered and we've canceled out the two losses we had. Now, a lot of people don't understand why Fibonacci exists. It exists because it can be found in nature. It can be found in things like pine cones, in conch shells in seed heads in the sunflower. It can be found in the star formations of galaxies. And it's also the basis for the golden ratio. The golden ratio can also be found in nature. It's also found in lots of examples of art. The golden ratio can be formed by using two squares of one, one, one. And to that, you add a square size two. And to that, you can add a square size three, size five, size eight, size 13, and 21, and so on. We're currently up six units or 60,000. Restarting at step one, 10,000. Banker wins. We lose to a natural nine. And we go to step two, which is still 10,000. Player wins. We win with a natural eight and go to step one, which is still 10,000. Push. That's a seven, seven tie. Stay at step one. One card to player. Push. Another seven, seven tie. Remaining at step one. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. That's a loss. We go to step two, remaining at 10,000. One card to banker. Player wins. We win six to one and go to step one, which is 10,000. One card to player. Banker wins. We lose. Go to step two, which is still 10,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. We win two to one. Reset to step one, 10,000. Gonna cut the cards. Place your bet. Banker wins. We lose. And we go to step two, but I believe the totals are wrong right now. So we were gifted 10,000 because of a bug in the software. And here we win with a natural nine. So we're up 70,000, but we're actually only up six units at this point. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. That's a loss. Go to step two. Still 10,000. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. 
zero to six loss. We go to step three, which is 20,000. One card to player. Push. Five, five tie. We stay at this step, which is 20,000. One card to banker. Player wins. We win with a seven. That's a 20,000 win. And we are up six units currently at plus 70K. Now, when you win in your progression of Fibonacci, you don't always recover from all your losses. That is different from Martingale, where when you win, you are always up one unit from when you started. Now, how this differs from Martingale is that since you don't double your bet, you don't lose as quickly when you have a really bad streak of losses. That means even when you do have your winning hit, you might have to inch back to where you started that last progression. One card to banker. Banker wins. We lose. Go to step two, which is still 10,000. One card to player. Banker wins. That's another loss. That's at step two. So we're going to go to step three, which is 20,000. Player wins. That's a natural eight win. We've recovered and we go to step one again. One card to banker. Banker wins. That's a loss. We go to step two, which is still 10K. One card to player. Banker wins. Another loss. Now we go to 20K. Player wins. We win with a natural nine. We've recovered and we go to step one again. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. That's a win. Remain at step one. Banker wins. Banker wins with a natural eight. Go to step two, stay at 10,000. One card to banker. Player wins. So we win with a seven. So I think we're gonna try maybe one more progression and then we'll end this session. And we're gonna go to step one. Banker wins. Lose six to seven and go to step two. One card to player. Banker wins. We lose again, we go to step three, which is 20K. One card to player. One card to banker. Banker wins. Another loss. We go to 30k. This is step four. One card to player. One card to banker. Player wins. We win. We've recovered partially. And I think we're going to end our session here. So after 53 hands, we are up six units, $60,000. So I did notice a bug with this software where if you win or push on a hand and the cut card comes up, then your money stays on the table, but you're credited with that money and you get to keep that money if you just rebet for the next hand. So in this case, we were able to gain a $10,000 bet because it stayed on the table and was credited at the same time. So that is the cause of a $10,000 discrepancy in our final total. What do you think of this system and what do you think about Baccarat? Should I be working on a Baccarat simulator? And what systems would you want me to test in Baccarat? If you enjoy this content, remember to like and subscribe. Always gamble responsibly and peace out, donkeys.